there, this is Meg from AIM Fitness Online and thank you for joining me for this video. So we're gonna be having a lot of fun focusing on our back, our core and our glutes today. So we're gonna begin um, with a warm up, and then we'll be moving through different exercises for these different body parts to build strength and to improve your flexibility. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna begin by tapping your toe right in front now in today's video you are going to be needing a band if you don't have a band you can use a towel and we'll be using weights if you don't have weights you can use some canned goods and then of course we'll be using a chair as well so we're going to be using everything we're going to have some fun all right let's add that leg lift we're going to add a kick lifting that leg a little bit higher good reaching with the opposite arm maintain those shoulders Good posture, shoulders back. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. All right, excellent. Now we're gonna take that arm a little higher, reaching overhead. Good. That's great. Now we're gonna do two per side. So I'd like you to lift that leg one, two and the other side one and two switching again and breathing in and out of your mouth and or your nose whatever feels most comfortable for you i prefer breathing in through my nose out through my mouth and one more per side and last one all right, very good. Now we're gonna grab that chair and we're gonna be doing some taps behind. So option one, make sure you got enough space here. Option one is we're gonna be tapping your toe right behind you, take a big step back. We're warming up our glutes, warming them up. So tapping back, keep your front knee bent as you tap that leg back. Good. Now option two is to do it without the chair. And we want to reach, extend the arms in front as you tap the toe behind you. Good. All right, so just like we were doing earlier, doing two, doing doubles, we're gonna do this again. So tap and tap. Let's bring that leg in, do the other side. Tap in out and in you should feel your glutes working here it's so out and in out and in. you'll feel your thighs working too especially if you maintain a nice bend um, hinging at the hips keeping those knees bent so let's keep going this is a good warm-up for our glutes good to build strength in the legs all right Awesome, keep it up. Let's do two more. And one more here. All right, good, let's circle those shoulders backwards. All right, so another area we're focusing on is the back. So let's lift those elbows a little higher as we circle back, keep those feet moving. And I'd love you to pay attention to how you're feeling right now near the beginning of the video and then notice how you feel at the end after you're done exercising. Let's change directions. Keep those elbows circling. Nice and big, nice and high. All right, that's good. Let's do two more and one. All right, awesome. So uh, we're gonna start with our first exercise, which is a really good one for the back. Now um, we're gonna start without any equipment for the first few exercises, and then we'll move to some exercises with the band, maybe the weights as well. So let's bring those arms in front and squeeze your shoulder blades back. So we're gonna reach and squeeze back. And make sure your elbows are not rising up because if they rise up so will your shoulders keep your elbows nice and low maintaining your relaxed shoulders as you go Three, 
breathe in, breathe out. All right. So one of the reasons a lot of people have poor posture is that our backs become quite weak and our chests become very tight. So if that's the case, we end up walking like this, right? So it's important to stretch out the chest as much as you can and to do exercises like this to ensure you have the strength that you need. So you can do things around the house, so you can keep traveling, so you can carry your heavy bags or purses, because those can be quite heavy. All right, let's do two and one. All right, that's awesome. Now let's do a nice warm up for the core, nice and easy. We're gonna take your legs wide, elbows bent, and we're simply going to be twisting side to side. So we wanna bring your elbow towards the front of the room. And we wanna be swiveling, not at our hips. We're not gonna be using our core muscles here. We want to be tightening and twisting here at your, right at, uh, at your stomach area. As you're twisting, think about bringing your one elbow to the front of the room, the other elbow goes towards the back of the room. Good. Every time you bring this side in front, tighten your core. Breathe in, breathe out, relax your core. Breathe in, tighten, breathe out, relax. Good, so you should feel some movement, feel your inner muscles working. Great. Let's do a few more here and then we'll switch to the other side. Inhale, tighten. Exhale, relax. One more time. All right, so now we're gonna do the opposite. So we're gonna be tightening up our core when this arm comes in front and then exhale and relax as this arm comes in front. So inhale, tighten. Exhale, relax. Inhale, tighten. Exhale, relax. All right, good, have to think about this one. <laughs> I have to concentrate, but it does become easier over time. And don't forget my little trick, my uh, saying, tighten your core as you walk through the door. So every time you walk through a door, remember to do this movement, tighten, inhale, exhale, and then relax. And then over time, it'll just be second nature and you'll be noticing more strength, maybe a bit of definition in your stomach region as well. One more time. All right, excellent job. Let's shake it out. That's great. All right, so we're gonna be moving into some more exercises, this time with the band. So grab the band and have a seat. So we're gonna focus on our glutes first. So we'll loop the band right uh, right in front underneath your one foot. And we're gonna be reclining back on the chair. So sit right on the edge of your chair and then lean back. And what we'll do here is if your band is long enough, you can maybe wrap your hands. Otherwise, if you've got a shorter band, just hold on. And we want to be extending that leg out straight. Bring the knee as close in as you can and then push out. And what we wanna do here is we wanna do a low kick. Bring the knee in and then do a high kick. Inhale and exhale as you push. Inhale and exhale. So we are kicking, we're moving, we're working your leg, but we're also using your glutes, especially as you're extending that leg low. All right, very good. You probably feel this in the back of the legs as well. So if you don't have a band, you can do this without a band or you can guide your leg using, um, using a bungee cord or even a towel or a blanket, that could work too. These are really inexpensive to find. So I do encourage you to go grab a band. You can have a lot of fun with them, get really good workouts in as well. All right, one more time. <clears throat> Good job, and let's lower that leg. All right, we'll do the other side. 
there we go. <clears throat> Extend out, down, and a little bit higher. Bringing the knee in. Feeling your core working every time your knee comes in. Good. So I encourage you to focus on your breathing. Breathing out every time you straighten that leg. And just notice what part of my leg is working right now. You might need to squeeze your glutes. Really think about engaging them. I've worked with people over the years who said, oh, I did a whole workout and I didn't feel anything. <clears throat> and you know why? Their head was somewhere else. They were thinking about their to-do list. They were thinking about what was going on the rest of the day. So it is easy to go on autopilot when you're exercising. So just remember, if you do feel that, bring yourself back to um, what, what you're doing. What muscles are you working? Are you breathing? Are you paying attention to what you're doing? Because it's not worth exercising and not really feeling it, right? What a waste of time. <laughs> so let's make sure we're really noticing what we're doing. All right, good. Let's do one. Awesome, and lower the leg down. All right, so next we're gonna be focusing on our back. So let's loop the band under both feet this time. We're gonna use the band again. All right, little Fit Finley is doing well, having his little break, his nap. <laughs> so we're gonna sit up as tall as you can. Your back is away from the back of the chair. Keep the legs lifted, and then we're gonna be rowing. So squeeze your shoulder blades back as you pull on the band. Now with the band, you can always bring your hands a little bit lower if you want to intensify your work. All right, straighten and squeeze back. So remember, every time we pull or we push, that's when we want to breathe out. Exhale on the effort. Inhale, release, exhale, pull. Inhale, release, exhale, pull. All right, let's keep going, but we're gonna go down to one side, just one arm at a time. Two, we're gonna go up to five, three, four, and five, other side. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, five more together, squeezing back, four, Three, two, and one. All right, good. Let's lower your legs. Circle your shoulders backwards. That's great. All right, we'll do another one with the band. Let's take the band behind you, behind your back. And you want it to be just around your waist area. So for the next one, we're gonna stay where you are on the edge of your chair and recline back. And this time we're gonna be lifting your knee and punching your arm right across that leg. So this is a really good one, targeting the core and the obliques. All right, breathing in and out. Good, that looks great. Now make sure that the band is tight enough. Good. Really think about squeezing that core, tightening it up every time that knee lifts. All right. And having a strong core can help to relieve back pain, can help you to improve your balance, can help you to be able to reach and lean and pick up something off the floor easier groceries, home maintenance, whatever's going on. We need to have the strength to stay in our homes and to do those daily activities, right? All right, that's good. Let's go for three more per side. Two. And one. All right, awesome. Let's sit up tall, circle those shoulders backwards. All right. So I'm going to show you the next exercise. This is for our glutes 
two options. I will show you the seated option, but I'll show you the standing one in just a sec. So seated looks like this. You'll hold on to the band and then you want to lower that foot. You want to push down. Okay, so this is one option. If your balance is not that great and you want to do the seated option, you can do that. But I do encourage you, join me for the standing. So we, we really, really want to focus on our balance here. Put your foot right in the middle and we want to be pushing that foot down towards the floor. Now see if you can do it without touching. Now, if you are finding balance is a bit challenging, you can either tap your foot down to the floor each time if you feel more comfortable with that, or you can even lean against the wall. Okay, you can lean your one elbow against the wall and that can give you a bit more assistance. And so you want the band to be nice and tight so you can uh, feel your glutes working. Few more here. Excellent. Let's do three and two and one. All right. Excellent. Let's do the other side. Standing tall, lift that knee, and then press down. So we want the band to be already tight as your knee is up. But squeezing your bum, squeezing your bum as you press down on the band. Now, if you do have a few different bands at home, sometimes uh, if you've gone for physio in the past, you may have a handful and wonder which one do I use? This one you'll want to use one of the heavier resistant bands. So if it's too light, if it's too easy, then you may uh, not feel it quite as much. So go for a mid to uh, strong band. You can always try it out with a few, see what feels best. Good. Three more. Two. And one. All right, that's good. Let's release. Okay, let's put that band to the side. And we'll do some hip circles to stretch it out, keep those legs nice and wide, circle those hips. Well done. And we'll circle the other way. Three, two, and one. All right, good. Now let's grab those weights. We're gonna do another exercise for our back. It's dead to the world. <laughs> had a very busy week so he's catching up on his sleep <laughs> all right so what we'll want to do here is we want to take one leg in front of the other bend those knees and we're going to use both weights so what we want to do is we want to hinge at our hips so keep your back nice and straight hinge forward slightly bending the knees so you feel stable arms are straight and then we what we want to do is we want to bend your elbows and squeeze your shoulder blades back as you lift Squeezing back, keep that back straight. Try not to round your back, instead straighten it up. If you're not sure what your back is doing or what you look like, stand in front of a mirror and turn to the side so you can make sure your back is straight. And then over time, you'll be able to feel what feels good and you'll know that you're in the right position. All right, very good. So this is an excellent one to improve back strength. Now I've got five pound dumbbells. You can do this with lighter weights. Uh, I wouldn't say go too much higher than fives, maybe up to eights, maybe tens max, but our back does require um, kindness. <laughs> so you don't want to overdo it with this one. Okay, let's go for three, two, and one. All right, excellent. Let's come on up, circle your shoulders back. All right, well done. And we'll do one more for our core. We're gonna hold on to your weights here 
And what we'll do is we're gonna stand with one leg, we'll switch legs this time, one leg in front of the other, bend your knees, and we're going to twist side to side, tightening up your core. Now if you bend your knees, you'll feel a little bit more stable. And if you wanna challenge your balance, bring your legs so that one foot is directly in front of the other. Oh, see already, more challenging. <laughs> bend the knees, and any time you twist or turn, your balance will be challenged. Good. Now for osteoporosis, face the front of the room and do what I'm doing right now with the weights. Take the weights from side to side. All right, you feel your core working, eh? Oh yes. All right, good. Now if you're looking for further challenge, we'll do just a few of these. Take a step in front, bend the knees, and twist side to side. Take another step forward, bend the knees, take the weights side to side. Let's travel back. Take me a step back, pause, twist, and again take a step back, pause, tighten that core. One more time, step back. All right, good, and let's release those weights down. Great. Okay, let's circle your shoulders back. Now that's a really fun one you could do right in the kitchen. If you're waiting for your food, warm up in the oven or a microwave. Especially if you have a little bit of space, room that you can travel back and forth. Do that one, good for balance, good for core. All right. Wonderful job. Hope you're feeling really good. Let's reach those arms in front. Take those arms nice and wide. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, stretching out the chest and back. Good, one more, up. Good, and then let's stretch out the leg by taking one leg in front, heel to the floor, bend your back knee slightly, and we're gonna be leaning over, reaching towards your foot. You can grab a hold of the side of your leg or your ankle, or just simply reach. Slowly come on up, good, let's reach up, and then take it down again. Feeling that stretch down the back of the leg and into your glutes. Reach, and we'll do the other side. Straighten that leg, lift that toe, lean. Coming on up and stretch. And second time. And, and stretch it out. All right, bring your hands to your heart. I encourage you to think about something that you are most grateful for today. Let's end with two more deep breaths. Inhale. And one more time. All right, thanks for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this workout. I hope that uh, you are feeling good. Let me know how you're doing. I'd love to hear from you guys and have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Meg Stickle from AIM Fitness and this is Fit Finley. And we hope you enjoyed this video brought to you by Macaw. Now make sure to check out the other videos on their website. And if you're looking for more exercise videos with me, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, Activities in Motion, AIM Fitness. We hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you in another video soon. Bye.